Structurally, bacteria consists of a cell membrane surrounded by the cell wall. Internal to the cell membrane, there is cytoplasm, which contains ribosome and nuclear elements. In bacteria, the gap between the cell wall and the cell membrane is called the periplasmic space, where metabolic digestion and synthesis of new cell peptidoglycan occurs. Peptidoglycan is a polymer of N-acetylmuramic acid, alternating with N-acetylglucosamine, which are cross-linked by a chain of four amino acids. Synthesis of peptidoglycan occurs by addition of amino acids to N-acetylmuramic acid. Then, N-acetylglucosamine adds to N-acetylmuramic acid and forms the precursor of peptidoglycan, which transports across the cell membrane to the cell wall acceptor in the periplasm. Precursor peptidoglycan undergoes extensive cross-linking with the help of enzymes like transpeptidase, also known as penicillin-binding proteins. Eventually, several layers of peptidoglycan are formed which get cross-linked to form the cell wall. Beta-lactam antibiotics include all penicillins and cephalosporins that contain a structure called the beta-lactam ring. This beta-lactam ring interferes with cell wall synthesis by binding to the transpeptidase enzyme that cross-link peptidoglycan, thus preventing cell wall synthesis. The inhibition of cell wall synthesis leads to lysis of the bacterial cell due to high internal osmotic pressure and weak cell wall. Resistance to beta-lactam antibiotic is acquired through many ways, one of which is transformation, where resistant chromosome genes are transferred from one bacterium to another. When a bacteria with resistant gene dies, it releases naked DNA into the environment, which is taken up by the surrounding bacteria. This resistant gene becomes a part of the host bacteria by homologous transformation. The resistant gene code then alters the penicillin binding protein. This altered penicillin binding protein can still cross link peptidolycan in the cell wall, but has reduced affinity for beta lactam antibiotics and make bacteria resistant to effects of penicillin and other beta lactam antibiotics. Second mechanism by which bacteria become resistant to beta lactam antibiotics is by production of an enzyme capable of inactivating the antibiotic. Gene coding for these enzymes are found on plasmid. The resistant gene is plasmid or transferred between bacteria by conjugation where plasmid is transcribed and translated. The host bacteria will begin to produce inactivating enzymes. These enzymes, which are capable of destroying beta-lactam antibiotics, are called beta-lactamases, which destroy the beta-lactam ring and renders it incapable of binding to penicillin-binding protein, thus making bacteria resistant to the effects of antibiotics.